Are you looking for a super rare center build that can break the game and score at will? Now keep in mind, this is also a center build that not too many people on NBA 2K23 even have or know about. If you answered yes to any of my questions, then this build is completely for you. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and hop into how to create one of the most cheesiest OP center builds that is going to just give you tons of fun, tons of buckets, and uh, of course, tons of Ws. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and decide our position. Our position is, of course, no other than a center or hand. We're gonna go right-handed and then the jersey number is completely up to you. Now, when it comes to our body settings, we already did a seven foot three, we did a seven foot two. So today's video, we are going seven foot one. This build is going to have some very interesting stats and also badges. So make sure that you're watching the whole video all the way through, because this is this is kind of scary. OK, this build is actually kind of scary. So as we move on, our weight is going to remain at 255 pounds. This is more so of a post score. So you guys already know we're going to be doing all the cheesy post hooks. We're going to be drop stepping. We're going to be scoring. And this build can actually shoot as well. So for the wingspan, we're going to go down here and and of course, usually you want to go, you know, max sometimes, but just so we can shoot a little bit better than just, you know, what they're giving us, we're gonna go with a seven foot one wingspan. We really don't, we're really not concerned too much about the whole defensive stuff. This is a offensive minded player, but we still can play some very solid defense. But seven foot one is going to be our wingspan. And then for our body shape, we could either go defined. I feel that the arms look a little bit longer when it comes to defined, or we can go built because this is going to be a post score. But look, the built and then the defined, it's just like the shoulder width. Like, I, I, I don't know, but we're going to go defined just because it looks a little longer for the arms. Now, we have to set our potentials. This is probably the most fun part of making these builds in NBA 2K23. So let's go ahead and get dirty with it. All right, so close shot is actually going to be a 95, okay? Close shot, you know, it, it's about the layups, it's about the post hooks, all that, 95. Driving layup, we decided to put a little bit of a driving layup on this build, so we went with a 73. I feel that that's more than enough for me. Our driving dunk, so we can catch lobs and all that. We're gonna go with a 72 driving dunk i feel comfortable with that driving dunk we'll have some really good finishing badges to kind of um kind of you know give this driving dunk a little bit of flair to it not too much we ain't about to be jumping out the gym but you know having a little bit of driving dunk will definitely make this build feel a lot smoother but um for our standing dunk we did go with a 72 we kind of copped out a little bit on the standing dunk but we really just going to be a finesse lord around the rim this build is going to be able to shoot and all that stuff so we had to try to get rid of something so we can shoot so for our post now this year post control gives you a few playmaking badges that are going to be really really necessary especially if you want to be a post scorer this year so post control we're going to go with an 87 for our post control so you see how it gave us the uh quick first step we got the vice grip we got the unpluckable like we we got some goaded badges all right we didn't even touch our playmaking yet so when it comes to our shooting, our mid range, we actually want to be able to post fade and, you know, you know, just shoot out the mid range. So we went with an 83 for our mid range. We're not going to be too fortunate when it comes to, you know, shooting from three. So our three pointer shot is going to be a 39, but we did manage to go with a whopping 59 for our free throw. This is more of a build that I'm bringing to park, but after this is all said and done, we do get 12 potential shooting badges. Of course, you're going to want maybe like the uh, the MIDI magician, the amped, and whatever else you would like for this build. So for playmaking, this is where we actually are a little different. If we're playing twos, if we're playing at the threes court, whatever the case may be, we wanted to make sure that we allow this build to have some playmaking. Now, as a post score, if we're dominating in the paint, somebody's going to be calling for help, okay? Now, when that person calls for help, their teammate will probably leave your 
teammate or your you know your your buddy in the corner wide open this is going to be a mistake because our pass accuracy on this build is going to be an 83 now this pass accuracy is going to give us a little bit of a uh, a little bit more speed when it comes to passing of course we're going to use that pass style of lebron but um it'll give your passes more speed and of course you see we get that post playmaker and then also that special delivery on hall of fame so we are definitely going to have dimer pretty much as a big man and that is going to be kind of scary so for our ball handle we went with a 50 ball handle and then for our defense we wanted to add a little bit of defense because i feel like most builds need a little bit of defense you can kind of get away with not having crazy defense because i mean this is more so an offensive minded game when it comes to 2k you know if you're not rim mashing or rim running and paint mashing and all that other stuff then you really not win in too many games but um interior defense we're gonna go with an 80 to help kind of control the uh paint smashing and rim running and all that stuff for us but uh for our perimeter defense we're letting the guard go crazy with the perimeter defense and then for the steel we're going to have a 32 steel our blocking ability we will have a 73 give us a little bit of a block our offensive rebound we're going to have an 89 offensive rebound and then for our defensive rebound we're going to go with a 93 we did want to go and get at least some solid gold rebounding badges now if you want to go one more then of course you'll get the box out beast at a hall of fame if you go 94 defense but we went 93 i feel gold should be okay and this will also allow us to go a little crazy with the physical so when it comes to our physicals we're going to go with a 62 speed and then for our acceleration we're going to go 47 our strength is going to be something that we're really going to want to hone in because the strength is going to give us that box out ability on top of giving us that um that tier three this badge right here the bully badge okay we definitely want that bully badge we we're going to get that on goal so for our strength we're going to go with an 89 strength here so then we get the bully badge will pretty much be a paint masher slash post score okay we'll be able to do the hook shots we'll be able to get open standing layups at will you know like we're, we're actually going to be going crazy we'll have you know the ability to dunk on our opponent we'll be able to you know finesse around the rim we can get there okay we can get there so strength 89 our vertical we're gonna go with a 70 vertical on this build and then for our stamina we're gonna go with an 85 stamina now after you're done you should have 22 finishing 12 shooting 13 playmaking and 22 defensive badges now this build is going to change your life okay i never thought or i never even seen too many people with an inside the arc glass cleaner like this is crazy that not uh, not enough people have this build and for seven foot one you can you know create your own bucket like you got a midi you know what i'm saying this show is stupid but we're gonna go ahead and um continue now keep in mind you still do get those four free badges in the beginning that you can put wherever you want so if you want to put a single badge on each category cool if you want to boost your defense up a little bit more cool if you want to boost up your your, your finishing because you've got a lot of tier three badges to look forward to then that is completely up to you so don't forget you still got four extra badges before you even really get started with this build now we're going to go ahead and choose our takeovers now we do get the rim protecting we get glass cleaning and also post scoring but you know knowing me i definitely want to double up on these uh these post shot daggers okay it gives you a large boost to post hooks fades up and under shimmies and hop shots so we're going to be doing a whole bunch of hop shots of course you can do whatever you want you know post playmaking it's whatever but when you hit these post shot daggers 
the the ways that you can score are just unlimited okay post hooks you can hook somebody to death you could go and you can start doing your fades you could do whatever you want keep in mind you do got that 83 mid range so we're gonna go with post shot daggers here and we're actually going to double up so of course you see doubling up will give you twice the impact of the selected ability when the secondary takeover is activated so we're going to be um quite scary okay quite scary so we're gonna go ahead continue complete this build and let's see what we have shades of we have shades of not really too outstanding players you know what i'm saying you're not really trying to make any of these players but the way that you can play with this build is going to be insane okay i i feel like the way that you can play with this build has nothing to do with any of these three that you see we have shades of but you see we completed the build and we have an inside the arc glass cleaner okay it's going to be crazy all right it's going to be crazy we got the ability to shoot create our own shot we can get our teammates open we'll have dimer bro this is it okay this is going to change your life hopefully you find value in this video if you enjoyed today's video go ahead and smash a like on it so then that just lets me know y'all want some more heat from me all right this is definitely a fire build if you guys are new here and you want to see more from me then please make sure to hit the subscribe button also ring the bell so you guys will never have to miss out on another fire build like this one now if you enjoyed today's video then you're definitely going to enjoy yesterday's video where we made a seven foot two post scoring demigod okay this build is definitely different so go check it out it's on the end screen and i will see you all in that video